back to my channel. In case you are new here, my channel focuses on fashion and travel and beauty and overall lack of magic. We're trying to live a luxury leisure lifestyle. In today's video, I am going to be focusing on my very first luxury haul of 2022. So let's get into it. First of all, I am wearing one of the items, which is this Loewe sweater. I am totally obsessed with Loewe sweaters. I'm totally obsessed with Loewe. I love what J.W. Anderson is doing. I love J.W. Anderson's brand, and I've really just been falling in love with Loewe. I didn't put them on my luxury wish list because I knew I was like buying Loewe back to back. And I just recently got this at the Webster. I went to Miami for like three days just to like get away. And I love it. I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it with wide leg. It's like oversized. I'll stand up a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but I absolutely adore this piece. And yes, I absolutely love Loewe. And I wanted to make sure I showed this to you all. So why don't we get into the video? So I have a bunch of stuff in this video and I wanna make sure I get through it. So let me get started with the bag I got from Gucci. So this beautiful bag I got from Gucci is amazing. I love it. If you watched my holiday like luxury wish list or like, no, it wasn't the wish list. It was like the luxury guide for the holidays. Then you will have noticed that um, this was on my list. I've really been thinking about this. I had one Gucci bag. It was the Gucci Marmont bag, Miramont bag. It was like the fuchsia velvet. And I ended up exchanging that bag or I ended up um, selling that bag because I just didn't wear it a lot. And I wore my Hermes Constance, which are, they're like the same color. So I end up like, you know, I end up getting selling that bag. But I have my eye on Gucci. There's been a lot of fuss around like the Jackie bag and a few other bags by Gucci. But this is the bag that really caught my eye. I've been really loving like crossbody, classic bags with like minimal, just like logo, no just like marks or anything. And I adore it. I've worn it so many times, which is why I actually just went ahead and did this video. Cause I actually got this bag in Amsterdam. We had a layover when we left Accra. We uh, flew through Amsterdam and back to New York City. So I ended up getting this duty free for less than $2,000. And for most websites right now, I think it's well over $2,500. So that was really great. I love the leather. The inside is perfect. It's super buttery. Um, I have like my stuff in here, <laughs> um, but I am just loving this bag. I think it is so roomy and classic and perfection. So excited that I picked this bag up from Gucci. Next on my list, which I kind of got like pre-order is this um, Celine striped bra. And in case you're new here or you haven't watched like every single one of my hauls, you may not know that I have like four of these already. I'm actually waiting for the red one. Um, but yeah, I actually really like these. They're like really statement pieces. I can pair them with a lot of things. They can spice up any outfit. I wore this in Miami for the first time. I got it like a few days before I left. So really excited about this Celine bralette. Also, I picked up in my um, travels in Accra in Ghana, from a luxury boutique, Viva Boutique, um, which is owned by the beautiful Sasha. I absolutely adore her and she hosted my meetup in Accra and I am forever grateful. And she has a boutique, her mother actually started the boutique, I believe over 20 years ago in Ghana. And they sell a lot of like heritage houses and luxury goods. And I ended up getting this Bottega belt um, I love the Bottega belt. I've also been really just enjoying skinny belts or skinnier belts. And I love them for like coats and cinching in big old, um, just like, you know, knitwear and sweaters. And so I really, yeah, I'm really like intrigued and interested in, yeah, in like beautiful thin belts, especially for um, winter. But I could totally obviously see them transitioning into the spring and into the summer and so really enjoying this Bottega belt it is um I shouldn't say I'm enjoying it because I actually have not worn it yet <laughs> enjoying it
but I'm going to wear it tomorrow with one of my coats. So I'm excited to put that on. Yeah, and I love it. I have a green Bottega belt like this, but it has like the three, you know, it has like the three different gold pieces. I love just like the gold detail. It's understated. The girls who get it, get it. The girls who don't, don't. It's like not logo mania, you know. It looks like it can be a belt from anywhere, but it's like timeless, you know. So love that about this Bottega belt. Let's get into Dior. So I got this Dior tote bag and um, I have not used it yet, even though I took it with me to Miami, um, which I just came back from Miami a few days ago. Um, but this I took with me, I didn't actually use, but um, I got this as a Christmas gift from my husband. I love Dior. I have Dior tote bags. I love Dior tote bags. I'm pretty much a Dior tote bag um, girl. And I love the embroidery. I think it's perfect. Now, the only thing is I will need to get some like twillies or something to like cover the handle because I wear makeup. I'm obviously dark skinned and my makeup is not white. Okay. And so it will get on this easily. So I'm a little afraid of it and I want to keep it, you know, a little bit more precious. So I'm like waiting until I get some Twillies. I want to get some like Dior Twillies. I have a bunch of Hermes Twillies, but I haven't. Yeah, I don't know. But I love this Dior tote. It is amazing. I am thinking about starting to like get my initials embroidered on the back or something like that because I, I've, I have gotten one of my Dior totes I've gotten rid of. Like the one with the logos I don't like as much. But I do like the more like ornate ones, the ones that are harder to get and harder to find. I do like the, um, I'm not necessarily a fan of like the logo Dior ones, so I would get the more tan one. I'm also thinking about getting the Raffia one that is more like summertime that they just, just came out with. I really enjoy these. A lot of people are not fans. They don't understand why they cost like the price point for what it is but I feel like if you have one you get it you know what I'm saying you know and also I have the YSL one I have other ones and they just don't compare they're not as big they're not as sturdy they're not as cute and I think outside of the oblique ones with all the logo the ones like this are a little bit more rare and feel a little bit more unique to me so I actually enjoy them so loving loving this Dior tote Speaking of Dior, and I will try to insert a cutaway maybe um, a little into this because I actually got the whole line of these, um, but I got the Amber Nouette um, Dior perfume in the like big, big size and I love their like private collection perfumes. They are just so, so, so good. Like the lasting power, the uniqueness, it's just all the way there. And if I can describe this, this is like a very fall, warm, fuzzy. Um, it has obviously, you know, vanilla notes. It feels pretty season, seasonal, but in some ways, I feel like at times it feels a little bit um, like gender neutral almost. I don't know if that's the right phrase, but it does feel like it can be, you know, I could totally see this as, a light musk for you know a more masculine person as well I just feel like this can go like anybody would be interested in this but I love it I have it in the lotion I have it in the shower gel and my husband did get this for me for um, Christmas as well and then I have this oud which is like the holy grail classic if you're gonna get one of the Dior perfumes this is the one he also got me like the lotion and the um, I think I got the candle and I got a bunch of stuff to go with it, including the like body wash, the cream and I adore it. I have been wearing this and I've also been pairing this with like the nest. Um, it's like one of their oils that I've been pairing this with. Cause you know, when you pair perfume with oils, the lasting power is just out of this world. So I've just, it's been great. It has been great. And I've had this since Christmas, which has um, been almost a month. And yeah, I barely cracked it um, 
but I do also have travel sizes of these, so <laughs> I took them with me to Ghana, not these exact ones, but love, love, love the Dior perfume. Speaking of Dior, and I, this isn't necessarily haul worthy, but I got my hands on the Lip Glow um, Cherry Oil from Dior, and I'm just telling y'all I'm addicted. It is so good, um, and you can also get like the travel size or the minis free when you order stuff for Dior if you use like certain codes. Um, I get all my codes up like TikTok and stuff, but I actually love this. And I know it, it can feel like overhyped because it's everywhere, especially on TikTok. Honey, they talk about this. And I'm like, mm hmm. Yeah, she said. Um, before I get into Fendi, also in the Dior category, I got these like little Dior notebooks. And I love to just collect notebooks. My husband got these for me as well. I just love collecting notebooks. I have notebooks that are handmade. I have notebooks that I've gotten in markets. I have vintage like notebooks. I just love collecting notebooks because I'm a writer and I really love to write. It's how I express myself the most. And so I'm really happy that I got these like little Dior notebooks and they're also really easy to travel with. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that, but let's get into some more of the good stuff. So I went to Fendi actually yesterday to preview some of their um, like spring collection and I'm really excited for some of the stuff that they have coming out. I actually pre-ordered two Fendi first bags and so when those bags come, I will definitely share them with you because I'm so excited about the new colors that are coming out with the Fendi first bags. I was just like not invested, not interested in the camel. I was just not interested. I was not invested in like the camel and the bone Fendi first bags. I did, when I was in London in October, I saw the gray one and I kind of liked that one. It was like a wool texture, but I ended up not getting that, that one. When I went to Fendi and I was talking to them, they were like, oh, well, we know that the people who buy our bags will travel to different countries and so we have different releases in different countries so it's like a treat to some of our customers because i was like oh why isn't that bag available in the u.s because it wasn't and so i was worrying that like the white one that i was looking at wouldn't be available but it actually is um pre-order so i will be getting that bag and once i get that bag i also ordered another one from fendi i will definitely do another luxury haul for you all you know i will Okay, so what I did get from Fendi um, that wasn't pre-order <laughs> that I don't have to wait on, I got these Fendi tights. Now, these are my very first logo tights. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Logos scare me ever so slightly. Um, so these are really cute though. I mean, I was like, okay, I can get into these. And I have a few oversized sweaters and oversized blazers and it's winter time here in New York City, like a, a real like proper winter. It is not like, oh my God, 50 degrees. It is like 20 degrees. I think today is a high of like 17. Um, not that these would help, but I think when I'm going out like at night and trying to be cute or something like that, I think pairing these with some nice boots would just be amazing. And so, yeah, love, love, loving these. Next on my list, I picked up this Loewe sweater. Um, I actually bought this from the Loewe store when I was in Miami. I almost bought the purple one, which I think I will probably buy the purple one today from Loewe because I really, really love these sweaters. They're just like, you know, they look like they're hand knit. They're kind of like wide. They have the big Loewe logo. Um, I don't know. A lot of people don't really, they can't like spot the Loewe logo. So I like that it seems a little understated while also being really obvious. You know what I'm saying? I love the balloon sleeves. I love, I just love it. I love that it's a layering piece. I wouldn't necessarily like wear this outside on its own in this New York cold. But totally love it. Of course, I have been obsessing over Loewe. I cannot say that enough. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I got this from the Webster. So I got this from the Webster Miami. I got this from the Loewe store. That's right. So I picked this up from the Webster. And then I got this from the Loewe store. I also saw a coat 
by the way that I want to pick up. Um, oh, should I get that today? I really don't feel like leaving, but I know people love to like order, but I feel like I live in New York City. I can go like 30 blocks, 40 blocks and go pick up the Loewe coat if I want it. You know, I feel like that's the beauty of living in New York City. But loving, loving this Lueve sweater. I picked up this Awake skirt. I got it on sale at the Saks sale. I actually saw it in stores. Um, it's quilted. It's kind of like goes a little past the knee. It's, I wouldn't call it a midi, but it has like this split. It's definitely, um, it's like, it's an art piece. It's definitely not for, like if I had a corporate job, I wouldn't necessarily wear this to the, yes I would, I would, I would. I don't know if anybody would feel safe doing it. Uh, I know like me and my friends would, we would totally like pull up to work in this um, and be like, what, what's the problem? But I don't know if anybody else would. But anyway, I picked this up, love it, obsessed with it. I think it's amazing. I really like what Awake is doing. Awake Mode is doing, I feel like they're bringing art back to fashion and y'all know I'm totally missing the art of fashion. I feel like oh, people just, they just don't want to be artists when it comes to fashion, you know? I think it's okay. I don't want to like, you know, dismiss the role of an everyday person and like their struggles in life and they just want to like get out the door with some clothes on. But, you know, I think for me, fashion is just so exciting and it's, I use it as a form of escapism and um, I just want to see more art to fashion, you know, just more art. And this, this is art. This is the opposite of a camel coat. Okay. This is yeah this is this is everything i love it i'm excited about it i think it's gonna be so amazing this winter and i can't wait to step out in it because this is a winter luxury haul hello i wanted to add obviously my acne scarf that i picked up i feel like if you live in new york you've seen this scarf a million times like 95 people have this scarf and I'm another one. So obsessed with this scarf already. I haven't even worn it. This I got from the men's section in um, Net-A-Porter. It's unisex. And you can buy this if you're in the city. You can buy this at like Bergdorf. You can get this at Saks. They usually have them though on the men's side of the store. Um, but otherwise, yeah. They also have this. I think they may have this at Net-A-Porter on the women's side. But I will try to link it below. Um... For me, it's like a good price for like the quality. It's also timeless, right? It has these little shingles on it. I, I think it's great. And I love that it's just like super colorful. Now, um, most New Yorkers, I feel like I have seen this sweater. I've seen this scarf like, I see this scarf every day, every single day on a person. And usually that's not my vibe, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna join the community. I'm gonna join the community and get me an acne scarf. So here I am. Speaking of scarves, I picked up this Loewe scarf. I picked this up from the Loewe store. This is what I went into Loewe for and walked out with the sweater and almost walked out with the coat. Like, excuse me. Chase literally was like, you are past your daily limit. <gasps> excuse me, I'm just getting started Chase. But, um, and I was like on my way to Dior and had just come from her end. Um, but I picked this up, love it. It is just like an ombre, you know, it's like an ombre scarf and I think it's totally cute. And by the time this video goes up, I will probably have done a reel with this scarf in it because I can't resist. And also I might pair this with like my cream coat and, or like my oatmeal color coat and my Bottega belt, like cinching with the scarf. What? And wear this as like a shawl, please. Okay, I totally see this and I'm already obsessed. I'm already obsessed and I haven't even worn it. It has the little like Loewe Bay logo, the girls who get it, get it. And yeah, that's it. Another Loewe Bay scarf. Now this scarf is super long. It is like 
a major, major classic. I got this at um, Saks. It has a little bit of detail here. Um, here's the thing. Most of the Loewe scarves cost like, they're in the like $200 range, maybe up to $300. And so I saw this one. I was like, oh, I would totally get this one. Of course, it's bigger than the other ones. But I was too busy trying to look at something at Dior. Um, this was like last week. And she like rang me up. I handed her my card. Didn't even know the price. And I got home and it was like $1,000. For a scarf? So, you know, this scarf will be getting bequeathed to Kennedy. It it's like a black, it's a black scarf. There's a little detail, but I love that it's like super long, extra long. I've actually worn this already, so that's, that's like the good thing about it. It kind of is like a blanket. But I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be using this for the rest of my life into the ground forever in a day because... Are you kidding? Are you serious right now? Um, and I'm talking to myself about myself, right? Like, are you serious, girl? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am serious, you know? So I love this, I love this. I'm happy I got it. Of course, I told you I've been obsessing over Loewe. I've been set obsessing over Loewe, nonstop Loewe, Loewe, Loewe. Last on the Loewe train is this scarf. Um, yeah, this is a winter luxury haul. So <laughs> what would a, a winter luxury haul be without all the Loewe, right? Without all the Loewe scarves. And I have all the Loewe scarves. So excited about this Loewe scarf. It has like this khaki and blue and yellow. It's mohair. It has a little bit of reddish orange and a little camel. I think it can wake up the like camel coat which is like the work version of the big puffer in New York City that's like, are you not a New Yorker if you don't have a camel coat and a big puffer, period. So yeah, this is this is it. This is the business. This is what I love. Obsessed, 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 obsessed. I'm obsessed with Loewe right now. It's everything I need and more. All right, so let's do Hermes. Um, I ended up getting I didn't plan on getting, but I got the yellow Oran sandals. I've been looking for these and um, I have a weird size, like 36 and a half. It's not weird, but it's not always the sample size or the size that's on display. Um, there's either 36 or 37. So I needed a 36 and a half. My feet is a little bit more narrow and I got them. I got them in Miami at the Miami store, which you know, they were pretty nice about it. Um, and yeah, I've been meaning to pick these up. I'm totally going to be wearing these overseas. I think I probably have said that I'm no longer going to get these sandals. <laughs> and um, I do intend to stop, but I just love this yellow color. I feel like this might be my last one. There's no particular reason at all I wouldn't read into it. I just feel like you know, they're getting a little bit oversaturated. It is what it is. I have a few, four, I think. And I feel like, you know what? So yeah, I love the yellow. I love the green. I actually looked at the white because I thought I could get the white and I was like, mm-mm. Not that I would be wearing them in the like New York City streets. I will wear them in like on vacation. But when I'm on vacation, I also tend to do a lot of walking. So I don't know if it's worth it. But I picked up the yellow or on sand. Next from um, Hermes, and I'll do an unboxing right here. <laughs> I probably should have saved that for like a TikTok video or something. I feel like people do enjoy an unboxing. There's something about a reveal that's interesting. I picked up, and this was on my luxury wish list. I picked up, oh, I picked up the Kelly belt, um, the 18 in rose gold. I went for rose gold and I looked at the gold. I also looked at the black belt. Uh, but I don't have a like black Hermes and y'all know I don't necessarily have like an affinity for um, black as like a universal color for all things. It just doesn't really rock with my wardrobe that much. But I was considering it, but I actually am really happy I went with the rose gold. I don't know if you can see the rose gold. But it goes really, really well with my um, Birkin 25 in gold. Like this color, this like camel, 
like deep brown or like lighter brown by Hermes, they call it gold. And the hardware is rose gold. So my um, B25, my Birkin 25 is gold, um, like, you know, this light brown, but also it has gold hardware. And I thought maybe the rose gold and like gold hardware would be far off, but they're actually not. So I'm happy I picked up this, you know, I'm happy I picked up the Kelly belt. Finally, so that was on my luxury wish list and I got it. Well, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I actually really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed this very first luxury winter haul that I did. I'm so excited for all the pieces that I have. I'm super excited for my scarves. I'm absolutely obsessed with the Gucci bag I got, the Kelly belt. I love the Bottega belt, the Fendi, like, you know, um, tight. I just love that I got some things that will complement my wardrobe and enhance my wardrobe for the winter. So super excited, so excited about my Dior. I love it, I love all of it. And I have a bunch of other stuff coming in. I wanted to get this out because I feel like this is a lot and I don't wanna have like a 45 minute, 55 minute luxury haul video. So I have more stuff coming and I will do another one as more things come in. So hopefully you enjoyed. Go ahead and like, go ahead and comment. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.